and also with what? With men. That's the second dimension of favor. Favor with man or men. Luke 2, 52. Luke 2, 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. That is somebody's portion. In, in Proverbs 3, 4 to 6, we just read it. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. I pray for you. That in this first, uh, second quarter of 2024 and in all through this year 2024, God will bring you into favor with himself and with man in the name of Jesus Christ. The third dimension of favor is high favor. Luke 1, 28 to 30. High favor is the third dimension of favor. High favor. And the angel came up to her and said, Hey, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Highly favored. Blessed are thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast her mind, what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Say, Oh God, bring me into high favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, God doesn't only bring you into favor, He brings you into high favor. That is somebody's portion. Amen. 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 High favor. The fourth dimension of favor is the smell of favor. We dealt extensively with this last Sunday. You could go to our Facebook page and watch it. Christ with us TV. One and two. Or Marvelous Lord. You will see it there. We dealt extensively with it last Sunday. But we're going to also, you know, go through it again. Genesis 27, 27, Psalms 45, 7 to 8. The smell of favor. God will put it on you. And he came here and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his reverend and blessed him and said, See the smell of my soul. It's as the smell of the field which the Lord had blessed. The smell of favor. We saw Jacob smelling favor. Wherever he went. Psalms 45, 7 to 8. Proverbs 27, 9. Psalms 45, 7 to 8. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness and with thy favors. All thy garments smell of man. And alias and Kisha out of the ivory palaces wherever they have made thee glad. The smell of favor. Proverbs 27, 9, Sons of Solomon 1, 3. Ointment and perfume rejoices the heart. So do the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty cancer. Ointment and perfume. God will put on you ointment and cause you to begin to smell the smell of favor. As you move, the fragrance will be everywhere. You smell the smell of favor. Sons of Solomon 1, 3. Because of the savour of that ointment, Name is as well to went one fourth. Therefore, we the wait is not the smell of favor. In this dimension, God will spread perfume on you, and the fragrance will attract favor for you. That is somebody's portion. That is somebody's portion. That is somebody's portion. In the name of Jesus, God will spread perfume on you, and the fragrance of the perfume will attract favor to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number five dimension of favor is favor from prominence. Favor from prominence. That is favor from prominent personalities. Proverbs 19, 6. And then we will jump and read verse 12. Favor from prominent personalities. Many will entreat the favor of the prince. And every man is a friend to him that giveth it. Many, not few, will entreat the favor of the prince. That's ruined. Verse 12. And then we'll jump and we'll read chapter 29, verse 26. The king's rod is as the roaring of lion. 
but his favor is as the dew upon the grass. So the king carries favor. The king is in the class of prominence. He carries favor. Proverbs 29, 26. Isaiah 16, 5 to 11. Many seek the ruler's favor. But every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. Many, not few. Seeketh the ruler's favor. Favor from prominence. Isaiah 16, 5 to 11. And then 16 and 17. Isaiah 16, 5 to 11. Then we'll read 16 and 17. Thank you, Jesus. Then thou shalt see and flow together. In verse 3, he said, The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of the rising. These are prominent. These are prominent personalities. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because of the abundance of the sea, shall be converted unto thee. The force of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. These are favors from prominent, from prominent personalities. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the geometrics of media and Ephra. All day from Sheba shall come, they shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praise of the Lord. And all the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. The ranks of neighbors shall minister unto thee. They shall come with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as cloud and as a doves to their windows? Surely the eye shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring the, thy souls from far. They are silver and they are gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. These are favor, dimensions of favor from prominent personalities. The sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my rod I smote thee, but in my favor I have had mercy on thee. May favor and mercy locate you. And may God change your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Therefore, thy gates shall be opened continually, they shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the force of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. 16 and 17. Thou shalt also sow the milk of the Gentiles, and shall sow the breasts of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of uh, Jacob. For brass, I will bring gold, and for iron, I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stone, iron. I will also make the office, thy officers peace, and thy exactors righteousness. Favor from prominent personalities. Isaiah 49, 23, Matthew 2, 11. Isaiah 49, 23, Matthew 2, 11. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for, thy, for they shall not be ashamed of it for me. God will bring you to a realm where prominent personalities will come under pressure to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Luke 2 11. Luke 2 in uh, Matthew, sorry, Matthew 2 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down. This is confirming Isaiah 49 23. And fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, what did they do? They presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and man. Favor from prominent personalities. Personalities like the president, like governors, like senators, like multi billionaire businessmen and women. I pray for you. May God bring you into favor with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are like helpers of destiny. God will just bring you into favor with them. These are like the high and mighty. The likes of Ali Budabuti, the likes of Mike Adoliga, the likes of Florosha uh, Alakija, the likes of the likes of Ibeto. Hallelujah. The likes of Obi Kubana. E money. God will bring you into favor with them. I see it happening for somebody here. I see it happening for somebody here. You are watching us online. You are watching us in church. I see it happening for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bring you into favor with prominent personalities in the name of Jesus Christ. Sixth dimension of favor is favor from finding a good wife. Mm. Favor from finding
loving a good wife. There are women that carry the aura of favor around them. When you marry them, your life is changed. When they come into your life, you see, you used to be small, but when they come into your life, your life will shift level. Any woman that comes into your life and you don't shift levels, you missed it. Comes into your life, you begin to struggle, you missed it. Finding a good wife. Proverbs 18, 22. Proverbs 18, 22. Who shall find it? A wife find it a good thing and obtain that favor on the Lord. So when God wants to bless you, when God wants to butter your bread, when God wants to favor you, He gives you a good wife. Women are carriers of favor. Good women are carriers of favor. That is why in Proverbs 14:1, the Bible says, A good woman, a good wife, you let her have. Because she is a carrier of favor, Proverbs 14. Every wise woman builded her house, but the foolish plug it down with her hands. When you marry a good wife, she carries favor, and that favor will translate into the blessing in your life. Proverbs 31, 10 to 31, 10, uh, 10, 10 to 31. We see vivid example and description of the virtuous woman. She is a carrier of favor. Who can find a virtuous woman? Please, we we'll read it all through to 31. For her price is far above the rubies. The heart of her husband dwells safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will not come and spoil your destiny. When she enter your life, she will enhance it. She will spoil your life. She will spoil your business. She will destroy your finances. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. All. She will do him good and not evil. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She is not a lousy type. She goes and walks with her hands. She is like the merchant sheep. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth me to her household and a portion to her babies. How many of you saw that woman that trended on? on X on X, formerly Twitter. The husband told her to wake up in the morning and prepare food for him. Around about 10 minutes to 5 or so. Prepare food for me. There's a woman in my office that always brings food for me. So when she's coming with that food, she normally comes with extra spoon for me to join her and eat. And the woman was pregnant. When she heard that, she said, No, let me buckle up before another woman will slap my husband for me. She woke up very early in the morning and cooked for the man. And then uh, she put it on Twitter. She just tweeted it on Twitter. And the thing went viral. And people began to commend her. People began to gift her. They gifted her money. They gifted her cars. They gifted her houses. They gifted her properties. And the woman trained on social media. Even some uh, 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 companies or so made her their brand ambassador. She was honored, seriously honored for that singular act. She is like the virtuous woman. Every man is looking for something because they carry fame. They carry fame. Are you understanding me? Even LMPC decided to supply uh, uh, is it fuel or so for them for my company? Gas. Okay, gas. Supply it for them. For long. They said any of their stations in Nigeria, they can go there and collect it for free. Because of what that woman did. She considered a field and buyed it with the fruit of her hands. She planted the vineyard. She guarded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle going not out by night. The virtuous woman that carries favor, her candle, her light, doesn't go out in the night season of their life. There is always a night and morning season. There is always a dry moment. In the life of a person, a virtuous woman will not leave you, especially in this time that Nigerian is like this. I've said it, and I'm also saying it. Please, women, don't be a heart 
attack to your husband now. Things are not the way it used to be. Yesterday we were coming from somewhere uh, with my wife in the evening, and I saw a woman selling her. I said, how much is paid that? She said, 3000 And the last time that we, it was bought, was it, or when was that? That it, it was, it was like two five. Now three thousand, and the thing is just increasing, and it's increasing. Please, I want to believe that we have virtuous women here, and you are watching us online. Please stand by your husband. Don't allow your light, your candle, to go out by night because of the challenges that Nigerian is going through. Say, my husband used to give me uh, maybe ten thousand or fifteen thousand or twenty thousand. Now, if you go to market, by the time you buy one or two packets of Indomie, everything is gone. Madam, please, stand by your husband. That's what makes you a virtuous woman. You are the carrier of favor. Don't allow your light to go out. Don't leave God because of the challenges that you are going through in your family, the challenges you are going through in Nigeria. Don't allow it to make you to leave God. Don't allow your light to go out. This night season will come and pass. There is no night season that endures forever in the man's life. Weeping endures in the night. Joy comes in the morning. No matter what you are going through, it will expire one day. Just like Christ will have we go through a lot of challenges. But one day, one day, now one day, that day, now today, one day God will just smile on us. Are you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you, and it is not far. It is not far. You know, when the challenges are like that, you know, they say when the jungle, jungle mature, who no no go no. When the jungle, jungle matures, that's where you will know who be who. Don't allow your candle to go out by night. The Bible says she laid her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. Uh -huh. Do you hear me? She stretched out her hand to the poor. Yeah, she re she re she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestries. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gate when he seated among the elders of the land. She so much promoted her husband by the support she gave to him, by the favor she translated to him, to the point that the man is known among the elders. So this is the husband of Mrs. Soso and So, by the virtue of the favor she carries. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and, and uh, her husband also, and he praised her. Many daughters, many, many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelled them all. When you, when you are a virtuous woman, a woman of favor, obviously your children will praise you, and your husband will praise you. Also. Are you understanding me? The Bible says, "Let her own works." Okay. All right, the Bible said uh, the husband will praise her and the children will praise her also. Verse 30, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But the woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. When you find a good wife, your life will move to a rest. I've, I've been privileged to pastor members. I've seen members that were singles. Immediately they get married, you will see their life shift to a dimension. Careers of faith. I pray for you. They will come to your life in the name of Jesus. And if anyone is here, anything that is temporary with that, I confront it in the name of Jesus and I place on you favor in the name of Jesus. Eleven kings that triggers. The dimension of God's favor. How many keys did I say? Twelve. Twelve keys that triggers dimensions of God's favor. Twelve keys that triggers dimensions of God's favor. Number one, the God factor. 
the God factor. Please check this at the door. Juliet, the God factor. In Psalms chapter 5, verse 12, for thou, Lord, who bless the righteous, with favor, will that compass him as with a shield, the God factor. You need God to be favored. You need God. You need God to be favored. Psalms 102, verse 13 and 14. Psalms 102, verse 13 and 14. And then we'll read, we'll jump and read Psalms 106, 4 to 6. Our text. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea! The same time is come. It's come, sorry. Who is that person that will arise? God, you need him. When I serve and take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust here, you need God to be favored by him. Psalms 106, verse 5 and 4 to 5. Remember me, O Lord, with thy word, favor, that thou be arrest unto thy people. Oh, visit me with thy salvation. You need God. When God is in you, favor must be on you. If God is your Lord, favor must be your portion. You need the God factor for you to be favored. That is why you need to be born again. You need to be born again. If you are born again, you will enjoy the favor of God. Number two key that trigger that the dimension of God's favor is the growth factor. 2 Peter 3 verse 18, the growth factor. 2 Peter 3 verse 18, the growth factor. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forevermore. Amen. When you grow, you enjoy favor. We see it in uh, 1 Samuel 2.26. 1 Samuel 2.26. And then Luke 2.52. We just saw it in the life of Samuel. And the child Samuel grew on. What followed it? I was in favor, both with the Lord and also with men. So if you grow, either spiritually or physically, you step into the dimension of favor. Let's say our brother Angus now. Let's say he has fleets of cars in his house. Five cars. Ten cars, as the case may be, in his compound, and then his children. No matter how he loves them, he will not give any of them car to drive now. I mean, let me so because they are here to grow. But when they grow, at the age of 18, some of them maybe from 16, those who they look like now from 16, 17, <laughs> they will start to do what? They will start driving. I saw a video where a lady, that girl should be between the ages of uh, uh, 18 to 22, 23. I saw that lady driving this tall, long uh, trailer, driving from Lagos. She drove the vehicle and packed the vehicle and went and was checking. What small girl like this? I said, Kai, this one I can grab. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when you grow, either spiritually or physically, you enter into favor. The child Samuel grew on and was in favor. Look at Jesus. And Jesus increased that growth in wisdom and what? Physical stature. And in what? Favor with God and with man. So growth is trigger for God's favor. You need to grow. There are dimensions of favor you won't see until you grow. So that that favor will not kill you. There's a kind of favor you will enter into. If you are not a mature person, you will die before your time. A man, one more I prayed for a man and said, God will make you among the seven billionaires in Nigeria. That was a prayer. He has been preaching it. One way to see him, he said it to us. He said, when he prayed for the man, he said, one day, the man tried to see, call to see him. And the man said, God, ask him, that God has answered his prayers, he's now among the billionaires. That he has something for him. He said he has 13 billion naira for him. <laughs> Should somebody give you that kind of amount? Will you sleep? Everybody will be a suspect. <laughs> you suspect yourself, suspect everybody around you. <laughs> I remember 
the, some years back, you know, uh, uh, that was 20, was it 2011 or so? Uh, around 2011, when uh, a family blessed me, almost two million, almost, almost two million. <laughs> and that was the first time that kind of money was entering my heart. So I was moving from the Access Bank, then it was a, was it a, not the name of that bank then, Diamond Bank. I was moving from Diamond Bank to Able Bank. So I was carrying a million naira on me. That movement from that location to the, but it's not all that far around Sabek area. Everybody, I was looking at everybody. I see the new. <laughs> and my heart was pressing it with the suit that I wore, everything. I'm, if I'm working, I'll be looking at everybody. As if somebody is aware of something. But what Mike told that man, he said, I'm going to take only one billion. God asked you to give me one billion, not 13 billion. So the remaining 12 billion go with him. So I can go back slide. What is too much? Praise God. You know, God is a wonderful God. So when you grow, God, it is growth that will take you to that dimension. So that when you enter that dimension with that growth, we won't see you in church. You will not want to serve God again. You will be too busy for God. 13 billion naira, Kai. Do you know how many of these buildings you will bring out? Even at now, that cement is very expensive. Are you understand what I'm saying? So that is what happens when we grow. We step into dimension of favor. The third trigger for the dimension of God's favor is the life of openness. Job 1, 1 and then 3. The, the life of uprightness or the lifestyle of uprightness. Job 1, 1 and then verse 3. When you are upright, God will step you into favor. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was what? Perfect and what? Upright. One that feared God and does what? Estuate evil. Verse 3, he entered into favor. His substance also, in fact from verse 2, God gave him seven sons and three daughters. That's fruitfulness. Verse 3, his substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 sheep asses and a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. He was the greatest. God stepped him into favor by the virtue of his upright living, righteous living. He became favored by God. Righteousness pays. That is why the Bible tells us in Proverbs that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to every people. Righteousness pays. And it pays with favor. Psalms 5, 12. Hebrews, Psalms 5, 12. Psalms 45, 7 to 8. For thou Lord will bless the righteous, not the sinner, the righteous. With what? With favor. Will that compass my solution? When you are righteous, when you are upright, you enjoy the favor of God. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of what? Gladness. That's favor among the fellows. All thy garments smell of ma and Amios and Kesha. Out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. You begin to smell the smell of favor. Hebrews 1 9. Thou hast loved righteousness. The same thing. And hate wickedness. Therefore, the Lord thy God, even thy God, has anointed you with the Lord of gladness above thy fellows. When you live the life of uprightness, you enjoy the favor of God. Proverbs 14 verse 9. When you live the life of uprightness, righteousness, you enjoy the favor of God. Fools make a mockery at sin. But among the righteous, there is what? Favor. Among the righteous, there is favor. When God sees a righteous man, he brings favor. When God sees righteousness, uprightness, he graces that environment with his favor. Just like what he said, he meets him that rejoices. That is how he meets him that lives the life of uprightness. Uprightness is trigger for God's dimension of faith. May God give us the grace to live upright so that we'll be able to enjoy His favor in Jesus' precious name. Number four, trigger. We're talking about 12 
five keys that trigger dimension of God's favor. Number four is desperation for God. Desperation for God. Second Chronicles 26 verse 5. Desperation for God. Second Chronicles 26 verse 5. And he sought God in the days of Zachariah. Zachariah was a prophet who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to do what? To prosper. That's faith. Matthew 6.33 You need to be desperate for God. You need to be desperate for God. But seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, favor inclusive, shall be added unto you. You need to be desperate for God. Desperation for God is triggered for his favor. You must be desperate. You must be restless. Restless for God. Desperate for God. It triggers the favor of God. Number five, key that triggers the dimension of God's favor is a key of rising and shining. Isaiah 61 to 11. The key of rising and shining. Arise, shine, for the light is gone, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the night, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Verse 3, to verse 4. Lift up thy eyes, run about, and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. They shall thou see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear, and the enlarged of the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Epha, and they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kena shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebuchadnezzar shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance of my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as clouds? And as the doves to their windows. Who are these? Alright, verse 9. Surely the eyes shall wait for me, and the ships of that is first, to bring thy souls from far. They are silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my rod I smote thee, but in my favor I have had mercy on thee. God will show you mercy. For that Lord will arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. Verse 11. Therefore thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring on to thee the force of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be God. This is God putting system, putting systems, putting prominent personalities under pressure to favor you. And that is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So you must rise and shine to be able to enjoy the favor of God. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 and 16, the Lord gives it broad, you know, explanation here. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. There is no how you are shining the light and you don't enjoy favor. Then I do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. He said in verse 16, he said, Let your light, we are not seeing 16 here, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine. Arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine. Let your light so shine. Arise and shine. He said, For with thee is a fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. Carry favor, shine forth the light of faith. And favor will do for you. Number six, praising God. Praising God. 
You must spend time to praise God. If you want to enjoy His favor, that's the sixth. Praising God. If you want to enjoy the favor of God, spend time to praise God. Spend time to sing. Spend time to clap. Spend time to dance. Spend time to release words of praise to God. In Acts chapter 2, verse 30, uh, 47. Acts 2, 47, Jeremiah 30, 19. Praising God and having favor with all the people. So when you, when you praise God, God will do what? Will bring you into favor with who? With all the people. And the Lord added to the church, the end is what I should be saying. They praise God and God brought them into favor with all the people. That's both the ones that don't want to favor you and the ones that want to favor you. Whether they like it or not, they have no choice but to favor you because God is involved. Jeremiah 30, 19. God will be involved in your case. In this last uh, second quarter of 2024 Amen. and in this year 2024 in the name of Jesus. Amen. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make men. And I will do what? Multiply them and they shall not be few. And I will glorify them and they shall not be small. There is no how you praise God without God getting involved in your case. In the time of battle, we saw it in 2 Chronicles 20, from verse 20 to 24, how Israel, 25, how Israel went to fight three nations and decided to praise God. And the Bible says in verse 25, God fought for them. Before you get to 25, he fought for them, killed all the enemies. In verse 25, when they came, they saw many dead bodies carrying what? Wealth, carrying riches, silver, gold with them. That's favor. What led to that? They praise God. So when you praise God, when you learn how to praise God, God will bring you into dimensions of favor. Are you understanding what I'm saying in church? Number seven, good understanding. Good understanding is the seventh key that triggers the dimension of God's favor. Good understanding. Proverbs 13, 15. Proverbs 13, 15. And then Daniel 19. Good understanding giveth what? Favor. But the way of transgression is hard. Good understanding. Good understanding. Give it to you. What understanding are we talking about? In Daniel chapter 9, verse 2, Daniel said, And I, Daniel, understood by books. When you have the understanding of the Bible, understanding of scriptures, you will enjoy the right favor. When you have understanding of Christian books written by men of God, prominent authors, authors within Nigeria and outside Nigeria, authors. Like our fathers of faith, Adeboye, Oyenepo, Dr. Enechen, David Ndiyobi, and many of them, some are there, many of them, marvelous, no doubt. No, we are potential authors. Praise God. When you read their books, you step into favor naturally. Because God will show you something. Oyenepo said he was struggling in ministry struggling to make it. And one day, they decided to have time with God. They picked the book of Gloria Copla. God's will is prosperity. In fact, I had to write that book to read. I read that book. I bought it. He said he took that book and the Bible and walked himself and went through the book and other books with the Bible. After he, he drank, he came out and declared, I can never be born. I've seen something. He saw my he understood what he saw. And he stepped into favor. What? Good understanding in that favor. David the Pure Bien said, when he had already possessed it, he himself also picked that book, locked himself in with some of the books of Bishop David the book, breaking financial hardship and the order of his books, and locked himself inside with that book written by Gloria Copeland. God's will is prosperity. And came out and made similar declaration. He said, I cannot be poor. And he's not poor because he said he had given God one million dollars as an offering. Amen. He said every service he gives God nothing less than 10 million naira offering. Nothing less than 10 million as an offering. Every service. So if he comes to church on Wednesday, his offering is 10 million. He comes to church on Sunday, his offering is 10 million. Is that not a, a realm? Is that not a dimension? Good understanding 
give it to him. But yesterday, I was watching a video where he was gifting one of his stewards. He said he used to be a mechanic, faithful mechanic. Not this type of mechanic that will tell you that uh, your engine is having a problem and we need to change so so and so thing, or we need to change the hub or crankshaft or do this and do that and collect big money from you. So we're going to collect money that will buy that in times three or times four. <laughs> Not that I'm bad mechanics. I remember meeting somebody one time in Zillet Park. I went there to do something. So I wanted to drive out. My car went and hit the guy and scattered the indicator light, the light, so our traffic light, so to say. And the guy said, I must change it. I must change it. You must change it. You the drive car, make you get money for our road. <laughs> Praise God. So we went to school road. We went to school road. Immediately we stepped into school road. Hey, pastor. Hey, pastor. Hey, pastor. Hey, everywhere. Pastor, you're welcome. Yeah, pastor, you're welcome. The man was looking at me like this. So we got to where they are selling it. We priced it. Even the person that was selling it was welcoming the pastor, you're welcome. The man was just looking at me. So we price it, I wanted to pay, call me aside. He said, are you a pastor? I said, yes, I'm a pastor. He said, okay, don't pay, I'm going to pay. <laughs> Praise God. And then number two, he asked the guy, he said, do you have so so and so thing? The man said, yes, he has it. How much? I told him the price. He said, pastor, my mechanic, and somebody is bringing this in from a lodging. Look at the price the person told me. That price was like times four of the price we were giving him in school. He said, thank God you hit my car or pastor time <laughs> <Not> because <laughs> I will fix the lights, buy that thing, and more money will remain. If I had bought it from that man, thank you. He started thanking me. I said, I should give me, he gave me some remembering car. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So what am I trying to say? That mechanic was a mechanic that wasn't behaving like that. So in BMA, the man employed him. He became one of the lower staff, among the lowest staff in the office there. And you know if you're working there, you know what? There was a day he said, I'm the highest, highest person that pays pastors. That time is what is like uh, several hundred and something thousand or so. So and then give them a duplex, buy them cars to make life a company for them. That's what the world doesn't want. So he was saying that the guy has been so faithful. He said they have tried him in the area of money, he is sincere. Other people will steal. I'm putting him back at him. This is the, the video is on the social media space. You can go and watch it. He said other people you will send them to buy something. They will cut the money, cut corners, they will steal, they will do different, different things. But the guy remained faithful. What did he do? In the anniversary, he rewarded him with a uh, Four bedroom program. A reward for uprightness. Praise God. So God ushered him to the realm of wealth because of good understanding. So if you have good understanding, you too will step into that realm. Number eight key that triggers the dimension of God's favor is labor. By labor. Exodus 11, 2 to 3. Exodus 12, 35 to 36. By labor. Speak now in the ears of the people and let every man borrow of his neighbor and every woman of our neighbor jewel, jewels of silver and jewels of gold. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's Sabbath. And in the sight of the people, the Lord gave them favor. Verse 35 to 36. 12. Exodus 12. 35 to 36. Exodus 12. 35 to 36. And the children of Israel did according to the words of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and remnants. And the Lord gave the people what? Favor. In the sight of what? The Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. Now, 
The Israelites were laboring in Egypt. Laboring. Laboring. No salary. No pay. No incentives. No thank you. They labored for 430 years. In fact, the prophecy came to Abraham that your children will be strangers in the land of Egypt and they will be there for 400 years. Then I will rescue them. But 30 years was added to the prophecy. You know, most times, let me say this as a little digression. If you don't fight for your prophecy, your prophecy may be made. In 1 Timothy 1.18, by the prophecies that have gone ahead of you, by them make a good warfare. There are many prophecies that have gone ahead of us. If you don't war, you won't enter into your prophecy. So the prophecy said they will stay in Egypt for 400 years. But there was a delay. There was additional 30 years. They were laboring without pay. Laboring without salary. Laboring without incentive. Laboring without thank you. Until Moses stood up and said, No, enough is enough. Somebody has to stand up. Somebody, if not, your labor will be in vain. God is not unrighteous to forget about your labor of love. Either you've labored and you are still laboring. You've refused to arise and fight for your prophecy. That is why there is a delay. That is why there is a delay. That is why you have not entered into your favor. You are laboring without favor. Moses stood to the challenge. And the Bible said they spoiled the Egyptians. They spoiled them. The Lord grant them favor before them. And in Psalms 105, verse 37. Psalms 105, verse 37. The Bible tells us here. Psalms 105, verse 37. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. And there was no one female person among their tribe. They brought them out of Egypt with silver and with gold. So when the favor of God comes upon you, you become a carrier of silver and gold. When you carry favor, your pocket will feel the impact. Your bank account will feel the impact. Your business will feel the impact. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. You need the favor of God. Proverbs 14, 23. If not, you will be laboring in vain without nothing to show for. In all labor, there is what? Profit. Change that profit to favor. In all labor, there is favor. But the talk of the lips tended only to penury. You are only talking, 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 talking without action. You need to work. You need to labor. Because behind every work, there is what? Favor. Businessmen and women, I'm talking to somebody by prophecy. This week, as you go out to work, God will favor you in the name of Jesus. Favor you with customers in the name of Jesus. Favor you with money in the name of Jesus. You are returning on something with a testimony. If I be a man of God, so shall it be. You won't go out in vain this week. You won't labor in vain this quarter, second quarter of 2024. This year, 2024. You are going to be favored by God in the name of Jesus. In all labor, there is profit. There is profit. There is profit. So favor is a reward for labor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Favor is a reward for labor. God will reward your labor. You are watching us online. I prophesy to you. God will reward your labor. Christ will ask my good church. We have been laboring and laboring and laboring and laboring. God will reward our labor in the name of Jesus. He will reward it with money. He will reward it with properties. He will reward it with members. He will reward it with practice all over in the name of Jesus Christ. And I see God doing same for your business and your life in Jesus' precious name. The ninth key that triggers dimensions of God's favor is divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Luke 2, 52. Jesus increased in wisdom. Luke 2, 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Divine wisdom is a trigger for God's favor. Divine wisdom triggers God's favor. When you carry wisdom, you enjoy the favor of God. Proverbs 8, 
8.35 Proverbs 8.35 Proverbs 14.35 Proverbs 14.35 After we read Proverbs 8.35 Whoso findeth me Findeth what? Life I shall obtain what? Favor of the Lord That's wisdom speaking If you find me You will find life And you shall do what? Obtain favor from the Lord Proverbs 14.35 The king's favor is towards a wise servant. You need wisdom to enjoy favor. Solomon got wisdom and he enjoyed favor. The Bible says all the eggs sought after Solomon, it was favor. It was favor that made it to be true. All the eggs, they came under pressure to look for him. Are you understand what I'm saying? So divine wisdom is a necessity for God's favor. Go for wisdom. Go for wisdom. Ask God to give you wisdom. Get it through books. Get it through school. Get it through skill acquisition. Get it through vocation, vocational studies or training. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. There is favor in it. Are you understanding me? Number 10 key that triggers the dimension of God's favor is the key of favoring God's righteous cause. We handle this as a topic, but we want to add more uh, ingredients to it. Psalm 35, verse 27. The key of favoring God's righteous cause. Psalm 35, 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. When you favor his righteous cause, you will favor your righteous cause. Yea! Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. When you favor the righteous cause of God, God will favor you. God will favor your business. He will favor your righteous cause. He will favor all the things you lay your hands to. All your adventures. He will favor it. Sponsor the kingdom. Be a blessing to the kingdom. Never sit idly and watch things being done in the church or in the kingdom. Be part of it. It's not easy. It's painful. It's stressful. But favor is righteousness. Sponsor kingdom programs. Sponsor church programs. Release your finance to us. Be a blessing to the poor. Be a blessing to the church. Be a blessing to the servants of God. Be a blessing. Never hold your resources. Sponsor his righteous cause. Release your tithe. Release your offering. And you will see what God will do for you. And I'm talking it as a prophecy for somebody. You will see what God will do for you. This week, this month, this second quarter, and this year 2024. In the name of Jesus Christ. Favor his righteous cause. Favor it. Favor it. Promote his kingdom and you will favor him. Number 11 key that triggers the dimension of God's favor is showing mercy and being truthful to people. Showing mercy and being truthful to people. Proverbs 3, 3 to 4. Proverbs 3, 3 to 4. Showing mercy and being truthful to people. Very, very important. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Please be merciful to people and be truthful to people. Be merciful. He said, to the merciful, you will do what? You will show mercy. To the merciful. Show mercy. Don't be too wicked to people. Show mercy to people. When you show mercy to people, the day you will need mercy, God will show mercy to you also. That is why in Psalms 102, verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor and hear the same time is called. Be merciful to people. Don't be wicked to people. And then be truthful. Also, 
to people. I just told you the story of a new man, that man. That the guy is, was a truthful guy, very transparent, very honest. Honesty pays, truthfulness pays. What pay? Favor. God will pay, pay you with favor. And listen, when you carry favor, doors will open. Doors of offices, doors of palaces, doors of nations will open for you. There are people that don't have mercy in their heart. Say a man carries God, put on a man's head. Say they paid him 100,000 to kill a man. The man will be begging, please have mercy on me. Mercy for what? Bah! You have killed him. Come on, now you're In fact, there are people that can even kill for 10,000. No mercy in their heart. No mercy. I was in the bank to get my ATM within the week. This branch here, first time. And a lady walked in and was crying. She was almost, all her body was shaking. She was crying and shaking. She came to block her account. Somebody stole her phone and didn't stop yet. The person went on to her app and began to siphon all the money there. She was crying and shaking, crying and shaking. And people were holding her so that her people would not uh, With no mercy. That is why you can't see favor. They are not truthful. That is why they don't enjoy favor. Finally, number 12. Diligently seek God. Diligently seek God. This one is almost like a number four that we saw. Desperation for God. Diligently seek God. Diligently seek God. Hebrews 11, 6 says, He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Diligently seek God. Diligently seek God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. And that is a reward of them that does what? Diligently seek him. Diligently seek him. If you want to enjoy his favor. Proverbs 11 27. Proverbs 11 27. And then Proverbs 12 verse 2. He that diligently seeketh good, pro, pro, pure what? For he that seeketh mischief, he shall come upon him, shall come unto him. Please, diligently, diligently seek God. Don't play with it. Seek him diligently. Proverbs 12, 2. Proverbs 12, 2. Proverbs 12, 2. A good man obtained favor of the Lord. But the man of wicked device will be diligent, seek him. Seek him, seek good. Diligently seek good, diligently seek God. Seek to be good, seek to know God. And God will surprise you with his favor. I prophesy to you, receive different dimensions of God's favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive dimensions of his favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we stand up? Let's do an appreciation.
you are watching us online, you are in church, I want to pray for you. If I pray the general prayers, I want to lead those I want to say, Jesus, I want to serve you. I want to surrender my life to you. If you are inside the church, you are watching us on Facebook, on, on YouTube, on any of the social media platforms, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender unto you. Forgive my sins. Wash me with thy blood. Come into my life. Be the one that saved me of my life. In Jesus' name. Satan, I reject you. Sin, I reject you. Jesus, I accept you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you pray this prayer, I want to pray for you. Say, I declare you born again. I declare you saved, cleansed, washed, and accepted in the blood. In the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of sin. I break the yoke of the devil. Receive grace to serve God. In Jesus' precious name. I want to pray for you generally. I pray for you. That God will wash you into realms of glory. Into realms of favor. Into these six dimensions of favor we saw. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed and favored. Blessed and favored. Blessed and favored. Blessed and favored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May you never lack favor in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to give our offerings. You are watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, on X. And there are account details that are streaming on the screen of your iPad, of your phones, of your laptop, of your television. Give your offering, give your seed, give your tithe, and the Lord will mightily bless you. There are account details here. You are watching us on Facebook. Give your offering. I declare your offering blessed. I declare your sin blessed. I declare your giving blessed. I want you also to do But I can't believe this here. You are blessed. In Jesus' precious name. been blessed by this broadcast for prayer counseling and partnership call 08050833649 and worship with us at Christ Winners Bible Church Worldwide Incorporated 41 Okigwe Road second floor Aba Abia State Nigeria you can join us on any of our weekday services Wednesday miracle service by 5 p.m. Sunday celebration service by 9 a.m. last Friday of the month miracle and testimony nights by 9 p.m. first Saturday Today of the month, oil of favor and protection service by 6.30 a.m. Come and be blessed.